Sakya Pandita Kunga Giltsan Tibetan Wiley Saskaya Pandita Kun DGA Urgeel MT Shan 1182 to 28 November 1251 was a Tibetan spiritual leader and Buddhist scholar and the fourth of the five Sakya forefathers Wiley Saskaya Gong Ma LNGA Kunga Giltsan is generally known simply as Sakya Pandita a title given to him in recognition of his scholarly achievements and knowledge of Sanskrit he is held in the tradition to have been an emanation of Manjusri, the embodiment of the wisdom of all the Buddhas, after that he also known as a great scholar in Tibet, Mongolia, China and India and was proficient in the five great sciences of Buddhist philosophy, medicine, grammar, dialectics and sacred Sanskrit literature as well as the minor sciences of rhetoric, synonymies, poetry, dancing and astrology. He is considered to be the fourth Sakya forefather and sixth Sakya trizin and one of the most important figures in the Sakya lineage. Topic: <laughs> Early years. He was born as Paldin Dandup at Sakya in the noble family of Jamyangan Kone. This lineage had held the abbotship of Sakya on a hereditary basis since 1073. His father was Palchen Opash and his mother Makag Nyatri Cham. Sakya Pandita was the nephew of Jetson Dragpa Gyaltsen and became the principal disciple of this prominent scholar. He was instructed in the sutras and tantras by Dragpa Gyaltsen and mastered Sanskrit and three inner Asian languages. Eventually he was initiated as a Shramanera by his master and given the religious name Kunga Giltsen. As a young monk, he visited the prominent Kashmiri scholar Sakya Shri, who ordained him as a bisu in 1208, and taught him sutras and mantras. Legend has it that he visited Kiering in Nepal on his way back, and there defeated a Brahmin Shastri in a debate on logic. He then overcome his opponent in a contest of supernatural powers. As he wanted to show his fellow Tibetans the peculiar dress of Indian Brahmin priests, he brought the Shastri to Tibet where the unlucky loser was killed by the protective deities of the land. The Shastri's head was then tied to a pillar of the great temple in Sakya which remained until modern times. The experience of Sakya Pandita with Indian learning provided a notably South Asian influence to his scholarship later on. His ordination as Bisu marked the inception of Sakya as a proper monastic order. He acceded as Dansa Chenpo or abbot ruler of Sakya upon the death of his uncle Dragpa Gyaltsen in 1216. Mongol invasion According to later Tibetan historiography, Genghis Khan subjugated a king of Tibet in 1206 and then sent a letter to the Sakya abbot. After the death of Genghis Khan in 1227, the Tibetans stopped sending tribute. This is, however, a legend without historical foundation. It is known, however, that the grandson of Genghis Khan and second son of Ogede Khan, Godin Khan was granted an appanage at Liangzhou present-day Wuwei, Gansu in 1239. In 1240 he sent an invasion force under Dorda into Tibet. The Mongols reached the Fanyul Valley north of Lhasa, killing some 500 monks and destroying and looting monasteries, villages and towns. The Gyal Lakong Monastery went up in flames and many monks of the Redding Monastery were slaughtered by the horsemen. The Driging Monastery was saved, ostensibly since the Mongols believed that a sudden avalanche of stones could be attributed to the supernatural powers of the Lamas. According to El Patek, the Redding Monastery itself escaped destruction when Dorda reached Dam, and its abbot suggested the Mongols to contact Sakya Pandita, who was a famous author and religious figure and could represent the Tibetans vis-a-vis -vis the Mongols. According to J.Y. Chong, it was rather the Driging abbot who made the proposal. Later chronicles assert that Dorda sent message to Prince Godin and enumerated the four foremost sects and lamas of Tibet, Kadam, Taklung, Driging, and Sakya. Godin drew the conclusion that Sakya Pandita was an important and wise lama who could show the road to salvation, and ordered to send a letter of invitation and presents to him. The actual reason for selecting the Sakya might have been that the sect was specialized in magic rituals that resonated with Mongol beliefs, and was prominent in spreading Buddhist morality. It was also important that Sakya Pandita was a religious hierarch by birth, and thus represented a dynastic continuity useful for the Mongol aim to rule via respected intermediaries. The stay at the Mongol court In fact, recent research has shown that the letter of summons sent by Godin is a later fabrication. 
Nevertheless, Sakya Pandita was indeed summoned to come to Godin's royal camp at Liangzhou in 1244. The cleric left Sakya in the company of his two young nephews, the ten-year-old Phagpa and six-year-old Chakna Dorje. As he continually preached sermons along his way he did not arrive at Prince Godin's camp until 1246. There he had to wait for Godin who at the time participated in the Kuril Tai where Gayak Khan was enthroned. Sakya Pandita and Godin first met in early 1247. He gave religious instruction to the prince and greatly impressed the court with his personality and powerful teachings. He is also said to have cured Prince Godin of a serious illness, probably leprosy. In return, he was allegedly given temporal authority over the thirteen Myriarchies of central Tibet. Since the Myriarchies were not yet constituted by this time the story is not entirely correct. It should be understood in the sense that Sakya Pandita was used as the main agent of the Mongols in Tibetan affairs. Tibetan historians quote a long letter by his hand to the various clerical and temporal lords in Tibet in 1249. In order to spare Tibet from devastating invasions, he wrote, it was necessary that the local regimes unconditionally accepted Mongol overlordship. A census was to be taken, and the lords must henceforth carry out the administration in consultation with envoys dispatched by Sakya and in accordance with Mongol law. However, the sources keep silent about the actual imposition of Mongol rule in these years. The death of Gayak Khan in 1248 led to internal rivalries in the dynasty of Genghis Khan until the enthronement of Monk Khan in 1251. This left Tibetan affairs in a state of limbo for the time being. Topic. Death and inheritance Sakya Pandita died on 28 November 1251, at the age of 70, in the Trulpade Temple in Liangzhou. As he did not marry, he chose his brother's son Chogyal Phagpa as his heir, and nominated him before his death as the successor to his religious authority by giving him his conch shell and begging bowl. After his death Phagpa continued his mission. The conch is one of the Ashtamangala and the begging bowl was a particular symbol of Gautama Buddha and the Sramanas. After Sakya Pandita's death, the new Mongol ruler Monk Khan chose to patronize the Dricking Kagyu while the other main schools were put under the protection of various Mongol princes. Nevertheless, a decree from 1252 stated that the Sakya precepts should be followed in the main. Meanwhile, Phagpa won a position in the court of Monk's brother Kublai Khan and became the tantric guru of the prince in 1258. When Kublai came to power in 1260 he appointed Phagpa Guoshi, preceptor of the kingdom. Thus began a strong Sakya-Mongol alliance, and the Si or Densa of Sakya became the administrative capital of Tibet in 1264. This lasted until about the middle of the 14th century. During the reign of the 14th Sakya Trizin, Lama Dampa Sanam Gyaltsen, the Miriarch Thai Situ Chongchub Gyaltsen of the Phagmodrupa dynasty began to subordinate the central Tibetan province Yu, marking the beginning of the end of the period of Sakya power in central Tibet." In the lineage of the Tibetan Panchen Lamas there were considered to be four Indian and three Tibetan Tulkus of Amitabha before Kedrup Gelik Pelzang, first Panchen Lama. The lineage starts with Subhuti, one of the original disciples of Gautama Buddha. Sakya Pandita is considered to be the second Tibetan emanation of Amitabha in this line. Works. <laughs> <laughs> He is best known for his works such as The Treasury of Logic on Valid Cognition and The Discrimination of the Three Vows He produced five major works in all, the other three being The Entrance Gate for the Wise Clarifying the Sage's Intention and The Elegant Sayings of Sakya Pandita the latter is a collection of moral precepts in verse which was imitated by others and translated into Mongolian. He focused on doctrine and logic, basing himself upon the Pramanavartika of Dharmakirti, and was very interested in rhetoric. With his profound knowledge of Indian Buddhism, Sakya Pandita was observant of what was seen as aberrations in Tibetan Buddhism. He was suspicious of lamas who promised enlightenment without going through the consecutive stages of Buddhist practices and took a more conservative view. The scholastic tradition of Tibetan Buddhism owes much to him, and his works are still included in the monastic curricula today. 
Topic: <laughs> Five major works. Treasury of Logic on Valid Cognition T. Shad Ma Riggs Pai G. T. E. R. The Padmakara Translation Group 2005, p. 37 holds that the Tsod Ma Riggs G. T. E. R., a celebrated work many consider Sakya Pandita's magnum opus, champions Democrates anti-realism by countering Chapas Phya Pa Cho's Ki Seng G. E. 1109-1169 interpretation of Dharmakirti. Discrimination of the Three Vows published in English as a clear differentiation of the three codes, essential distinctions among the individual liberation, great vehicle, and tantric systems by Sakya Pandita Kunga Gyalchen, translated by Jared Douglas Roten, State University of New York Press, 2001. The Entrance Gate for the Wise MKHA's PA RNAMS Jug PA SGO Section 3 published in English as The Entrance Gate for the Wise Section 3, Saskia Pandita on Indian and Tibetan Traditions of Pramana and Philosophical Debate, by David P. Jackson Arbeitskreis für Tibetisch und Buddhistische Studien Universität Wien, 1987, Section I published in English as The Dharma's Gatekeepers, Sakya Pandita on Buddhist Scholarship in Tibet by Jonathan C. Gold Sunni, 2007. Clarifying the Sage's Intention Thub Pai D. Gong's GSAL, A Commentary on the On Two Verses of Maitreya Natha's Mahayana Sutra Alamkara Karika, this serves as the main Lam Rim text in the Sakya school. The Elegant Sayings of Sakya Pandita Sa Sky Legs B Shad, published in English as Ordinary Wisdom, Sakya Pandita's Treasury of Good Advice, translated by John T. Davenport, Wisdom Publications, 2000 ISBN 0-86171-161-0. Other works Scry B Stan B C O S. T Shad Mai B Stan B C O S S D E B D U N G Snying Po Rig Pai G T E R Grel Pa Dang B C A S Pa Bazoe B Stan B C O S Skew G Zugs Ki B Stan B C O S Sa Bertag Pa B Stan Pa R I N Po Che R T S I S Yan Lag Bergayad Pai B S D U S Don Fiogs BCUE Sangs Urgias Biang Chub Sems DPA La Zu Bai Frin Yig Dang Skies Bu Dam Pa R Nams La Springs Yig Sogs Frin Yig Dang Zuz Lan Mang Ba Grub Mtha Rnam Bide Pharol Fian Pai G Zheng Lugs Spiai Chogs Chos Chen Mo BDAG Med Mai Bstod Pai Grel Pa Rdo Rje Theg Pai Man Ngag Rten Brel Lingda E Yi Ge Lam Sbas B Shad Dang Bla Mai Rnal Byor Sems Bsk Yed Chen Mo Lung Sbyor Chose Nyam Su Blang Bai Rim Pa Theg Pa Chen Poi Lam Gi Rnam Gzhag Mdor Bsdus BSNGO Bai Yan B Shad BDAG NYID Ki RNAM Thar Na Burgayad My RTSA Grel SDEBS BYOR Mi Ta Gi Chun Po Sneon NGAG MKHAS Pai KHA Ergyan MNGO N Burjad T Shig Gi GTER ZLOS Gar Rab G Jug Pa ROL Moe B Stan B C O S B Y I S Pa B D E Blag 2 Jug Pai Grel Pa B S T O D Pa R G Y U D G S U M Kor Loi Grel Pa Sangs or Gias La B S T O D Pa Sogs B S T O D Pa Mang Po M D Zad Topic Translations Pramanavartika of Dharmakirti with Sakyasrabhadra. Pramanavartikadika of Samkaranandana with Samgazri. Samsiptapranadana of Kandragaman. Amarakosa of Amarasimha partial. Kavyadarsa of Dandan partial. Aryaguhayamanatilaka tantra. Aryavarapatalatantraraha. Sarvatathagatakayavakchita guyalamkaravyahatantraraha. Ganakakravidi. 
Yuganataprakazasaka prakriya Vajrakilamulatantra Topic See also Brian Katila's Illuminations of Sakya Pandita Drogon Chogyal Phagpa Mongol Conquest of Tibet Tibet under Yuan rule Patron and priest relationship Topic Notes Topic References Pal, Pratapaditya, nineteen ninety seven Tibet Tradition and Change. Albuquerque Museum. Blo Bazang Cho's Ki Nyi Ma. 2009. The Crystal Mirror of Philosophical Systems, a Tibetan Study of Asian Religious Thought. Simon & Schuster. ISBN 978-0-86171-464-3. Penny Dimri, Sandra. The Lineage of His Holiness Sakya Trizin Nawing Kunga. The Tibet Journal. 24. Das, Sarat Chandra 1970. Contributions on the Religion and History of Tibet. Lawrence Very Incorporated. ISBN 978-0-8426-0479-6. External links Partial translation of the elegant sayings of Sakya Pandita Saw Sky Legs B Shad. H. E. Chogi Trikon Rinpoche's website includes a short account of his life. Some famous quotations of Sakya Pandita History of the Phagpa script Biographical notes <laughs>